Just made it to the lake. Perfectly calm out here. I'm out here with my friend Jake. We are going bass fishing. Oh, it's gonna be a good day, boys. We punching now. Let's try to catch a fish today. There's one. Oh yeah, I grabbed the net. That's a good one. I'm way ahead of you. Oh, you were prepared. That's what good fishing buddies do. That's right. There we go, first fish of the day on the square bill. It looked like a good one too. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Poo! Oh yeah. Scale for that one? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. First fish of the day, we got three six. That's a solid fish. Alright, first fish of the day, three six. I'm gonna get the release. There you go. Oh. Oh. All right. Time to rig up. <laughs> Whoo. Oh. <laughs> Catch and release, boys. That was good. Did you guys see that? <laughs> it didn't even come out. Dude, the hook didn't even come out. Oh, it's gonna be a good day, boys. We punching now. <laughs> All right, let's catch a couple punch fish, fellas. Let's go for the jungle fish. Oh my God, that hurts me. Oh, we're good. We got him. <laughs> Did you, did you break a rod? Oh, that's I thought thing was a freaking tank. <laughs> Dude, oh. little guy. That was freaking sweet. That looks good back there. Nebraska punching. That's cool. Oh, dude, when I threw in there, the bushes shook. Whew. So freaking fun, dude. God, I love this. We'll fish this out, though. I like this area. Okay. Oh, I hit water. That's a good sign. I don't know if he's still on or not. I don't see him. There you go. Woo! No! Oh. <laughs> this kid. I didn't see anything. Did you catch that one on land? Basically. Pretty much. That's how we've been catching them. What's that? That's how we've been catching them. They're up there. Oh, yeah. I don't need, we don't even see where our bait hits. Just listen for the splash. Oh my God, it came off.
There you go. Woo! You scared me. Woo! Finally! Goodness, I ducked and covered and all sorts of stuff. Small guy, but... Hey, it's a punching it's fun. fish. It's still fun. All right, guys. So I'm getting off the water now. It was a pretty freaking fun day. We uh, caught some square bill fish, some chatterbait fish, and then we punched. Caught a lot of punch fish today. This was uh, kind of the first time I've ever done anything like this, and uh, I had a great time. I missed some fish, but that's just because you know I'm not really used to the whole style. So hopefully. I can get better at it. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed me failing, catching some fish, and actually catching some fish. Now we are gonna put the boat on the trailer, gonna drive home, and I'll do a little recap and explain what we're doing so hopefully you guys can learn something um, if you're looking to punch in the near future. Enjoy. What's going on YouTube? So in the video you just watched was me attempting to punch. Caught a few fish, uh, missed a few fish. Overall had a great time. You guys are going to see lots of punching footage coming up in the future. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it as much as I did catching the fish because that was a lot of fun. For those of you who don't know what punching is, basically all it is is using a heavy tungsten weight and a big thick wire hook and uh, just some type of plastic, you usually you peg the weight, and what you do is you flip it and pitch it into a really heavy cover. And the whole idea behind punching it is you punch it through the cover, whether it's mats, whether it's weeds like I was fishing today, thick grass, any type of stuff like that. Anytime where a normal Texas rig bait would lay on the top of the surface, but now that you're using a heavy tungsten weight, it punches through, gets down to the fish that are in the heavy cover. That essentially is punching. So in this video, we were punching. My partner was throwing a chicker craw, I believe, and I was throwing a Strike King Rage Craw. It didn't really seem to matter. We were throwing black and blue because the water was really dirty, but I didn't really think it mattered what you threw in there as long as the fish could see it. They were hitting it as soon as it hit the water. And just to give you guys some tips, I guess, on punching, I'm not really advanced in punching at all. I do know how to do it because I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on it, um, some Bass University videos on it, that type of stuff. But what you want to look for is you want to look for these open pockets within the uh, the thick mats and the thick grass and stuff and those bass will sit in those open pockets to ambush uh, bait fish, crawfish, whatever whatever the forage is, whether it's shad, bluegill, that type of stuff. So as you guys saw in a few, a few of the fish catches that I had, I was basically kind of skyrocketing my Texas rig over the top of the weeds and down into the water and what I was doing is I was looking at those weeds I was looking for any irregularities so if the if the weeds are straight across and there's a dip that comes up like that then I know right there does not have weeds and that there's more than likely just water there and that's what I was pitching it I was just bombing it over the top and making it land in the water and you guys heard me in one of them where I said you know I landed in water that's a good sign Oh, I hit water, that's a good sign. As long as I heard it land in water, I knew there was a potential to catch fish. So the setup I had was a one ounce tungsten weight. I had a four uh, extra heavy wire uh, flipping hook with a striking rage tail craw. The setup I had on there was actually not uh, a setup that I would recommend necessarily. It was a 7.3 castaway Tyrannus Heavy. Now, when I go back out and punch, I'm definitely gonna be taking a 7.6 with me. That 7.3 did all right, but if I were to catch a four or five pound bass in that thick stuff, I just don't think it's long enough to get the leverage that I need to uh, to get the fish out. And so although I was using a 7.3 Heavy, I'm definitely gonna be using a 7.6 X Heavy next time I go punching. So if you guys are looking for punching setup, 7.6 X Heavy is the rod to use. For the reel, you wanna use something fast, but not too fast because you definitely need a lot of torque and a lot of winching power and so I usually stick to like a 7.3, 7.5 ish. I don't go any higher. I don't go up in the 8s or the 9s just because if you really do get a big fish if it's too fast a gear ratio you can't winch them out. And for line I would recommend 50 to 65 pound braid. I was using 50. You guys saw I didn't really have any issues. Uh, next time I go out, I'll probably do 65 just in case you do catch one of those big fish You start bringing in all those uh, all the weeds and stuff those weeds are very strong So it's nice to have a super heavy line to uh, to cut through the grass and that type of stuff But I don't want to make this outro any longer I know you guys do love this segment at the end where I kind of break down what I was doing a little bit And like I said all I was doing is we were literally just going down the bank and we we're just looking for empty empty pockets any any open water uh, Anything that looks like a fish might be there also there was some grass that was laying flat so it would be a lot of grass sticking up and then there would be like a little pocket with some grass laying flat on it. That is also key because what that does is that creates shade. The, the grass that sticks straight up doesn't really create much shade because the sun can shine right down through it. But if you can find grass that's matted over, that's kind of laid down, that's going to create shade. 
And you guys know, uh, I mean, unless you're new to bass fishing, but for those of you who are new, bass do love shade. Anytime you're bass fishing when it's sunny, when it's hot outside, you want to you wanna target that shade. So that was another thing we were doing is I had a couple fish catches where it wasn't really in the super thick stuff. It was kind of more on the outside weed line, but it was matted over, and so they were kind of hiding in that shade. Overall, had a great time. Hopefully you guys learned something at the end of this video. If anything, you probably got a good laugh at me uh, failing quite a bit at uh, catching fish. But if you did enjoy the video and you want to see more punching, make sure you leave a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you don't like the punching, let me know. I don't know who doesn't like punching, though. Like, freaking sweet. Anyways, that's for today's episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Woo! Oh, we're good! We got him! <laughs> Holy sh-